choice of chief guest, as I said earlier, is a showcase of the deepening of defense ties between India and France. That is certainly amongst the top priority for cooperation between our countries. The focus of talks expected to be on military and industrial collaboration as India aims to strengthen our military manufacturing in the country. The collaboration already spans a roadmap of around 25 years, which concentrates on India's indigenous capabilities in producing aircraft engines, submarines, maritime technologies, land warfare systems, as well as equipment, robotics, autonomous vehicles and platforms, as well as cyber defense and also aims to address military challenges in space. Colonel Sirohi, uh, there will be, uh, of course, uh, meetings and dialogues uh, between the Indian and French delegations, including, of course, uh, uh, a bilateral between Prime Minister Modi and President Macron. Uh, we're expecting defence ties to be the focus uh, in the dialogue, isn't it? Uh, Uday, absolutely. It will be the basic uh, discussion will be on the defence ties, especially the Rafael uh, maritime uh, this thing, uh, fighters. As well as the so the basically, if we look at it, the France has been a very very uh, trustworthy partner of as far as India is concerned. And since in 1998, after the nuclear uh, this thing trial which we had done, after that it, France was the only country who supported us. After that, there were a lot of sanctions from the Western countries, but France was the one who supported us. And for last 25 years, he has been supporting us, whether it, at all international levels. Lately, when 2019, when Article 370 was uh, this thing abolished, in this thing, China wanted to take this matter into uh, Security Council. But it was France which persuaded America to use the veto power so that it does not happen. So we have seen France and a lot of things have to be discussed. It has to be space cooperation. It has to be defense. It has to be investment. There are a lot of CEOs and other people are traveling with president and defense minister is there, foreign minister is there. So I, we can expect a lot of things to happen and a lot of agreements to take place. And it will be a turning point as far as the France and India uh, this thing, relations are concerned. And as it is, we are the strongest strategic partners which we have and we have a main aim in the Indo-Pacific, so we are going to discuss that also. Absolutely. Uh, you know, let me uh, quickly go also go back to Commodore uh, G.J. Singh now on, uh, you know, on the uh, the theme of Nari Shakti as well, that, that uh, we're going to be seeing uh, this year, uh, all women contingents in certain, uh, uh, you know, certain uh, as parts of the parade. Also, uh, the fly past will see women uh, you know, uh, pilots in the uh, cockpits as well of the aircrafts. Uh, meanwhile, in other uh, tableaus as well, Nari Shakti being displayed uh, pretty prominently. Uh, an important aspect, isn't it, of, of the parade uh, this time as well, this theme of women empowerment. Kamra uh, Singh. Absolutely. Uh, I must say that uh, uh, with the induction of the, uh, uh, the uh, women in our uh, defense services uh, and giving them at you know, keeping them at par with the uh, men, uh, it uh, elevates our status uh, to the world past because I find that in other countries, uh, European countries, in America, the the women uh, are active participants, whether it is uh, Army, Air Force, Navy. They, they, we have brought uh, our defense services almost at par with them when it comes to uh, the role of uh, men and women. Uh, in the country. And not only that, I find that this representation uh, of uh, uh, ladies, uh, of the uh, lady officers uh, in all the three continents also uh, showcases uh, that uh, they are at the forefront now when it comes to the defense of this country. And uh, it is a big boost, I must say, uh, to the uh, to the women power, to Mahala Shakti, Nari Shakti, and uh, it will act as an inspiration for every girl in this country uh, to join services. Uh, and uh, as I have been uh, hearing quite a few uh, these uh, uh, you know uh, parade commanders who uh, the lady uh, parade commanders who, who came there. Uh, uh, and uh, the, the kind of, uh, you know, testimonies that they are uh, bringing forward, I think uh, everyone is very proud. Uh, and uh, this will definitely uh, add uh, greater teeth to the uh, progress of our defense services. And I would also like to 
uh, bring in a, another thing that uh, with the France, we always had a very cordial, very good relation because I remember uh, having uh, seen uh, uh, the mysterious, those uh, aircrafts in the Indian Air Force. And of course, now we have got an upgradation, probably the best aircraft in the world, the Rafales. And in the Navy, we used to have Alizes, which was again a uh, French uh, 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 aircraft. Uh, Alouette's uh, helicopters, again, uh, they are of uh, French origin. And uh, Alizes played a very active role in uh, 1971 war. Um, they had been used for, uh, you know, rescue, uh, what you call recon reconnaissance uh, uh, operations. Uh, we also had some rings from France. I think now with the visit of the uh, uh, President Macron, uh, we are going it to take the whole uh, defense, uh, our defense ties with them to all together a new level. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, definitely, uh, I would say that uh, a, f a new feather uh, in the cap of uh, this government. Absolutely. Let me uh, quickly also bring in now uh, Joyta Basu, editor of the Sunday Guardian, who I'm being told has also joined us now. Uh, Joyta, you know, uh, clearly, of course, uh, uh, it is a very important uh, occasion of the 75th Republic Day. The parade will be starting momentarily. Your uh, uh, what are you uh, most excited to see in the parade uh, this year? Uh, even, of course, as we, uh, as we learn uh, that the parade will be more inclusive with 13,000 uh, special invitees, including space scientists, sarpanches, uh, people who made the best use of government schemes, NCC cadets, women workers, vendors, entrepreneurs, yoga teachers, and many others as well, expected to witness the parade. Live. Yes. And the thing is, you see, this is what exactly Prime Minister has been. This is these are the people the Prime Minister uh, has been reaching out to, and that is a reflection of that. When we are looking, uh, talking about space scientists, we have to look at, say, for example, Chandrayaan. You know, one of the biggest achievements of India that happened, that moon landing that happened, and and it was flawless. I mean, initially we had uh, first time we had uh, uh, failed. But this time it was absolutely flawless. So you, you have to honor them. You know, I think this is very important. Instead of just calling celebrities and all who are always there anyway, you have to call people. I mean, you have to invite people who are actually really making a difference. And when we are looking at our space scientists, as you said, uh, talking about our farmers, women workers and also it is but natural. Now, if I can make a quick point Uday, about the participation of women, why we, I mean, can say that, yes, we will be uh, aspiring to become the Western nations, uh, why, where we, they have, you know, a greater women participation in the military forces. But the fact of the matter is that look at, say, for example, in the field of aviation, the Western nations can aspire to be us because think of the number of women pilots the india uh, indians have i think 12 percent are per indian per women pilots so you see the west does not have that so let us not say you know the west is this thing we can aspire to be the west it is time for the you know we should aim for a situation where the west uh, aspires to be us and it is happening in many sectors. That is the reason why we are confident about this nation. Look at the economic growth. Yes, they have looted a lot of money from us. They have got a lot of things. But let us see how long these people survive. I mean, given that, you know, the French president is coming and saying, we are hoping to get at least 30,000 uh, Indian students every year. Who is the aspirant here? Who is the wants our people? primarily for financial economic reasons so yes let us not look at ourselves as supplicant we are equal let us not you know and, and that is something we have to get rid of that old mindset about the west being superior to india no we they are not in certain areas they are but we are what we have achieved in spite of the deprivation of our country has seen in spite of the money that has been looted, in spite of our poverty, we have been bled dry. We have been bled dry by the Western powers and we are here in spite of that and we are thriving. So let us be proud of that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let me, in fact, uh, quickly also just tell our viewers about these visuals coming in. These are uh, 
various parades, of course, which are also happening across the country from Ujjain to Dehradun to Manipur. Republic Day celebrations, of course, are continuing across the country, even as, of course, there is a, a big uh, security uh, blanket as well. Uh, uh, security has, of course, been naturally tightened across uh, various states and unit territories spread out across the nation. Uh, let me uh, go back across to uh, uh, Comrade G.J. Singh now. Uh, did you speak a bit about the Atman Nirbharta as well? Uh, Commodore Singh, you know, uh, from of course the 20, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, the 21 gun salute uh, happening by Indian made guns now, Indian made, uh, uh, you know, cannons. Also, uh, the fact that uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, most of the display of the military might will of course consist of uh, Indian made defense equipment now. Uh, clearly, Atman Nirbhar Bharat uh, truly being achieved in practicality and reality. Uh, yes, I would say uh, definitely to some extent we have uh, uh, made, come a long way because Atam uh, Dirbharta uh, in the defense equipment is going on. I would not say that we have achieved our ideal because uh, I think we have uh, a lot of uh, scope uh, uh, to improve because uh, the kind of technology that is available in the world uh, uh, we have not been able to uh, bring in uh, because the kind of uh, fighter aircrafts that are in the world, the kind of uh, precision ammunition that is being manufactured, the kind of submarines, long-range submarines, long-range reconnaissance aircrafts, uh, lighter guns, the you know the new equipment, you name it, uh, any kind. Even I would call it in clothing, fighting on high altitudes and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 when it comes to space uh, and comes to, you know, uh, long range missiles and come to, uh, you know, uh, uh, electronic equipment, communication, navigation, all of these things, uh, of course, we have uh, put our footprint on the moon, which shows that we have got that uh, potential to do that. But I still feel that uh, we should be realistic. We should not forget that. Uh, and not be overconfident with the kind of, uh, you know, uh, improvement or kind of uh, 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 prosperity that we achieved. We are on the right direction. We are in the right direction. We have the right, uh, I would call, uh, Jan Naik now, as uh, it has recently been said, uh, the Prime Minister Jan Naik, uh, as per the cabinet uh, Mandar resolution. Uh, we have a uh, leader now who is uh, steering the country in the right direction. But uh, when it comes to military muscle, uh, you know, at uh, comparing it with countries, especially China, who is our neighbor, who is a hostile neighbor towards us, um, uh, manufacturing of all this equipment within the country uh, uh, is going on, is uh, coming up to a mark, but not to at least my satisfaction. I think it is it is not the kind of thing that uh, is being manufactured. We are not still at par with the so-called, as Madam was telling, that uh, it was the Western countries uh, who want to be uh, at par with India. I think uh, there is a gap. I, I uh, uh, have little different uh, view about that. But uh, responding, we are Joyta is on mute. Joyta, you will have to unmute yourself. You are on mute. <laughs> We have to aspire for a situation where the West looks up to us. The advantages they have got from uh, 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 ahead of us in terms of wealth, that is the reason. What did I say? I said they bled us dry. We do not have to be apologetic for what we have been. We should celebrate and that is what the Republic Day is about. We are not just celebrating our military might. We are celebrating the formation of the Indian Republic. The military parade is incidental. This is about India's Republic. This is about India's constitution. What I am saying is that in spite of what they have done to us, we have reached that a stage where there are certain sectors the world envies us. And we have to take it ahead of us because when you look at the West, the West, there is a degeneration of the West from their values to their society, their economy, everything is degeneration. They are falling apart while we are rising. I'm going to say touch wood because I hope we continue to do this and we do not fall into the traps of
political suspects but so we are in a position right now where we are in the right direction and there will come a time soon that they will be aspiring to be us and when i'm talking about women's participation in civil aviation when we are looking at women over there the west is nowhere near us so yes the whole idea is that in different sectors we have to do it if you are not confident about your nation then sorry then that is an old mindset for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon